the first step is tracking the footage. After importing it, follow the process carefully and ignore any existing layers. Just stick to these steps. Right-click in the timeline, go to New, and create a solid, naming it Mask. Use the pen tool to draw a box around the card area. This helps isolate the tracking to just the card and avoids capturing unnecessary background movement. Press M to reveal the mask path, then check Inverted to flip the mask. Add a keyframe and adjust the mask to follow the card throughout the footage. Once done, select both the mask solid and the footage, right-click, and choose Pre-Compose, making sure to select Move All Attributes. Then, select the pre-composed footage and click on Track Camera. If you don't see the tracking option, go to Window and enable the Tracker Panel. The 3D Camera Tracker will analyze the footage, and once it's done, several tracking markers will appear. Select a group of markers and right-click to choose Create Solid, which will create a solid layer aligned to the tracking data. Adjust the solid size to match the card by going to Effects, searching for Grid, and applying it to the layer. Increase the border to make the grid more visible, and then rotate and scale the solid along the Z-axis as needed to align it with the footage. Once everything matches properly, delete the grid effect. Then select all the layers, go to File, Scripts, and choose the JSON script to save the tracking data. After exporting the JSON tracking file, open Blender and go to File, Import, then choose the last option, After Effects Composition Data. The imported objects may not appear in the center, so to bring them to the middle, create an empty object, select both the imported empties, and lastly select the new empty. Press Ctrl, P, and choose Object Keep Transform. Then, scale and rotate the new empty to center everything. Add a cube to match the scale, then delete it. Set the render resolution to 1920 on the x-axis and 1080 on the y-axis. Select the 3D tracking camera and set its orientation. In the timeline, select all keyframes, press G to move them, and place them at frame 1 so the animation starts from the beginning. Change the end frame to match the last keyframe. Mine was 842, replacing the default 250. Select the camera, enable background image, choose movie clip, add the clip, and set opacity to 100%. Delete the default plane and add a new one, scaling it to match the tracking card. Use keyframes to animate scale if needed, as the plane may not always fit perfectly. Then, create a container using a mesh cube, delete the top face, and subdivide it for smooth edges. Add a subdivision surface modifier with level 3 for both viewport and render, and keyframe the scale if the cube doesn't fully cover the tracking card. Apply a shiny material, black in my case. Place a car model inside the box. I'll provide the model link in the description. Animate the car wheels using keyframes in pose mode, and animate the rig moving up using a Z location keyframe. To create a sliding glass door effect while the car rises, take a plane, Subdivide it, go to edit mode, and separate one half. Add a solidify modifier to give it thickness, and parent each glass panel to an empty. Animate them using Y and Z location keyframes to slide and lift the doors. To hide the glass once it's open, use a plane with extruded sides and delete the center face. Then assign a holdout material to hide everything behind it except the car. The first plane can be used as the road. Apply a road texture and animate its movement by adding keyframes at the start and end frames. Add an HDRI background for realistic lighting. I used a forest HDRI to match my environment. You can also add card numbers or names using text or transparent images and parent them to the glass. Don't worry about finger masking. It can be fixed in After Effects. Finally, follow proper render settings and render the animation as a PNG sequence. Then open After Effects and import the rendered animation as a PNG sequence. Make sure the PNG sequence option is turned on during import. To match the video scale, press S and increase the scale up to 200 or as needed. 
To fix the fingers overlapping the card for realism, duplicate the original footage and place it above the animation layer. Use the Roto Brush tool, change the view from half to full for better clarity, and double click the duplicated footage to start rotoscoping. Select the fingers, and if needed, hold Alt to subtract unwanted areas. Once done, click Freeze, then trim the layer. This will make the fingers appear over the card, giving it a more realistic look. You can also add other creative elements for a more dynamic animation. Afterward, apply color grading to enhance realism. When you're ready to export, go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, change the output module to H.264 for MP4 format, set your output file location, and click Render.